Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Frugalissima. My name's Sam and this is where I talk about all things sewing. Today is day number 84 of 100 days of sewing and it's another Frugal Friday. I'm currently putting together a series of videos focusing on sustainable sewing. So today's Frugal Friday video we'll be looking at sewing patterns that we can get out of a metre of fabric. So first of all, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I generally talk about all things sewing, particularly dressmaking, but a little bit of bag making and other sorts of sewing as well. If that's the sort of thing that you like, please consider subscribing. I make videos generally on a Friday with the Frugal Fridays videos, and then often I put out videos midweek with tips and tricks and tutorials. Sundays I generally do reviews and that sort of thing. So this week's video is going to be a little bit different to normal, I'm a bit short of time and I haven't got time to do a lot of editing. So I'm going to do quite a bit of screen sharing, but I'll just let you know what we're going to be looking at today. So that's going to be a mixture of knit and woven garments, generally for adults and all free patterns. So I've got tops, I've got shorts, I've got skirts, I've got underwear, I've got sleepwear and I could do a whole video on tank tops for instance like the one that I'm wearing today. This is the Geo Tank. Uh, this is a free pattern by Misusu Patterns. I've got, actually got a full video review of this top so I won't be doing a lot of tank tops. I will try and keep it a mixture. Let me know below if you want me to do a full video on free tank tops, for example. I could put together 10 tank tops easily that I've found that are free patterns. I could do another one on children's patterns. You know, children's patterns don't take up a lot of fabric. Somebody had asked me a while ago to put together a video about what you could get out of a metre of fabric. So I thought that would be interesting to tie in with the July videos whereby I'm looking at sustainable sewing and getting the most out of your sewing and zero waste sewing and that sort of thing. So I'm not looking at scrap busting projects, I'm particularly focusing on projects that just take a yard of fabric, maybe you've been remnant bin diving like I like to do, or you've got a metre left over, or perhaps you've seen it in a sale reduced, got it at home and thought, what am I going to do with that? I like the creative process of, of trying to challenge myself of getting something out of next to no fabric. So these are just some ideas for you. So before I start, you're going to have to take into account the width of fabric that you've got. If you've got 140 wide or 150 wide fabric, that can make a heck of a difference uh, if you're only working with a metre, as can your size as well. So I'm not going to be looking at patterns where you can only get the very smallest size out of a metre of fabric, that would be pointless. But by the same token, most of these patterns probably won't go up to the top sizes, but some of the patterns will be self-drafted. So some of the patterns will be looking at your own sizes so you can take your own measurements and make something for yourself uh, out of your own measurements. So I'm trying to keep it reasonably size inclusive, but obviously not every pattern is going to include every size. And the other thing is the best way to get the most out of your fabric is if you're not having to pattern match. So that would be something to take into account of as well. So I will start with tops and I'm going to share my screen now, talk you through a few patterns and then I will be back at the end with some discounts for you. So I'll start with the Peplum Top by Peppermint Magazine. This is a V-backed top with a peplum at the bottom and it does say on this one that you do need uh, 1.2 meters of fabric it's a woven fabric that you require so 1.2 meters of 150 centimeter wide but I've made this a couple of times now in less than a meter for my size which is a 37 inch bust so the size range for this top uh, goes from a 30 inch bust up to a 51 and a half inch bust so to get the most out of your fabric on this top, I think you need to just change the cutting layout. That's what I did. They have got you cutting the back piece, uh, two separate pieces, instead of on the fold. So if you cut it on the fold and ignore the way that they cut the bias binding, cut it out of a 10 inch square and do use my v-neck tutorial, you should be able to get this out of a metre quite easily. Next up is the Diana Cami by Spit Up and Stilettos. It's uh, hosted by another website now. And this is also designed for woven fabrics like a lightweight silk or a stable cotton. That goes from a 33 inch bust up to a 45 inch bust. And I've got this uh, out of a meter several times. This is another one that uses bias binding to finish it and for the straps as well. And the back has got a really nice racer back shape to it. I've got Mandy modelling it for me today. 
I love this top, but it's not very bra friendly, unfortunately. And this is some fabric that I got from the remnant bin. And you can see how they cut it here on the fold. It's not very efficient in the cutting directions. So if you just cut it side by side, you'll get you should be able to get this out of um, out of a meter. And good good instructions for this as well. Next up is the boxy top by Bobbins and Buttons. This is a free if you subscribe to her newsletter, and she's bringing out. 12 variations of this boxy top. Obviously you're not going to be able to get the variations with the sleeves out of a meter but there's lots of variations here that are sleeveless like with a v-neck or a frill or a, um, a tie at the back as well. So the sizing for this goes from a 32 and a half inch bust up to a 47 and a half inch bust sizes 6 to 22 she is saying that it will take 1.1 metres of fabric, but I have just placed the pattern pieces on uh, a metre of fabric. And it is actually the facings that take up a lot of room. So you could omit the facings. The one that you're seeing here is uh, the largest size. So the smaller sizes, you'd probably be able to get the facings out of it, but the largest sizes, you'll probably have to use something else for the facings. So the first of two tanks now, and this one is the Elliam Mac curved hem tank, designed for knits, and it's got this lovely curved hem uh, feature here. You can put a pocket on it if you like. It's designed for four-way stretch with a 50% stretch, and that goes from extra, extra small to 6XL, which is a 29-inch bust to a 61 to 63-inch bust. The the fabric requirements are up to uh, 3XL 0.9 metres, so you can get this out of a metre quite easily uh, for quite a lot of the sizes. Uh, after that then you need a little bit more it's saying. And it does look like there's a video tutorial to support making this for you as well. So a couple of patterns from Life So Savory now. One is this sports tank which has got an open back uh, but you can actually tie at the back as well if you, if you choose. That is for sizes 30 inch bust to 45 inch bust and you can just get this out of a yard of 60 inch wide fabric. So it, she just gives you a little tip of how to do that as well within the blog post. Her patterns are free to download but you can purchase them for better instructions. Uh, out of the blog post if you like. So there's that tank and then she also has a really nice shorts pattern. So something that you probably would like to up your skills with I would say on this one. There's a welt pocket in the back, there's a little zip pocket and then you've got your normal side pockets as well. This is designed for stretch woven fabric. Got an elasticated waist with a faux fly front so no fly zip to install with this. The size range on this one is from a 21 inch waist up to a 47 inch waist, a 30 inch hip up to a 57 inch hip. Uh, so quite a good wide size range and you just again need a, a yard of fabric for that. And again the instructions are there in the form of a blog post but you can pay to get more concise instructions in a PDF. If you're wanting a shorts pattern that is a little bit easier to construct, this one by Wardrobe by me um, is just an elasticated waist, so much easier to construct. There's not so many components to it. And this is designed for men and women and children as well. So the size range on this one is from a 31 inch hip up to a 49 inch hip. Just saying that you want 1.1 yards of 50 inch wide fabric. Um, but yeah, you could get this out of a meter, I would have thought, quite easily. And there's a YouTube video for this one to support making it as well. So unisex and you can be made out of a knit or a woven as well. And it's got a, a faux fly front to it. So nice easy one that one. Can be used as pyjamas as well. So next up is the first of a couple of skirts that I want to talk about. The first one is by Sew House 7 and that's the Elemental Pencil Skirt 
and this is fairly new uh, free pattern. That comes in sizes 0, 0 to 20, which is a 23 and a half inch waist to a 38 and a half inch waist. They do have a curvy block for this one as well, which goes up to a 57 and a quarter inch waist. So there's two lengths for this. There's a knee length and a midi length. And for the first couple of sizes, you can get this out of a metre of fabric. Not sure why you can't for the other sizes, to be honest. I'd have to look at it. So the next skirt pattern is by Juliette Uzar. And she has video tutorials. She's got a couple of video tutorials for making something out of a, a metre or a yard. She has a pair of shorts. She has the a blouse and then she has this skirt. It's just take your own measurements and make the skirt with an elasticated waist. So because you're taking your own measurements this will fit anybody and it's got a slit up the side as well. So I've got a couple here from Alyssa C. Montanez. I've mentioned her channel before. She's got some really lovely free patterns on here. First is this sheared cropped top which goes from a 29 inch bust to a 45 inch bust. can be made in cotton, rayon or linen. She has video tutorials for most of her patterns as well. She's quite a funny lady, so I always like to recommend Alyssa. And I promised you some sleepwear and some underwear patterns, and I thought these high-waisted um, French knickers would be good for both. Uh, these can be made in a, like a silky fabric or a satin or something like that, uh, lace trimmed. Or even a cotton. Could be worn with a cami top that she's got. She's got a cami top pattern on there as a set for sleepwear or underwear as well. So the cami knickers go from a 22 inch waist to a 37 inch waist, 31 inch hip to a 47 inch hip. And both projects, the, the sheared crop top and the French knickers, take 31 inches of fabric. And like I say, there is video tutorials for both of those as well as written instructions. So last up are two underwear patterns from Olulu Designs. First are the Celeste Bikini Cut Pants or Panties. They go from a 24 inch waist to a 35 inch waist. You just need half a yard for all sizes of stretch fabric. The bra or bralette is the hyacinth. That goes from a 32 inch bust up to a 47 inch bust and you need a third of a yard of stretch knit fabric for that one, like a jersey or an interlock or a spandex. And you could make both of these in like a matching fabric uh, if you like. So I thought those were nice because they were from the same pattern designer. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, you, you do need to take into account pattern matching. Other things to consider are uh, just being a little bit clever with your fabric. You know, you might see a pattern that says it needs 1.1 metres, but what it's including is facing, so maybe you can swap out facings for bias binding. Or you could shorten or lengthen. If something's got quite a steep bias on it, you could bring that in a little bit. That gets uh, that makes the most of your fabric as well. My suggestion really is if you have got a metre of fabric at home and you've got the pattern, just measure it out on your pattern pieces. You can put your pieces upside down, you can fold your fabric selvage to selvage, or you can fold it the other way as well, just to get the most out of your fabric. There's no rules really. And just be a little bit inventive. So in the past, for example, with facings such as this dress here, I've just used a different fabric and that could be fabric constraints but it could also be if you've got a highly patterned fabric showing through on the other side as well so it's always sometimes a good idea to do that. The tank that I'm wearing here, the geo tank, because of the constraints of fabric that I had I put, cut the back yoke in a different direction uh, and you can see these are going in a different direction as well uh, and I've used different colours on the neck bands and the, the arm bands as well. So little things like that, you don't always need as much fabric as the fabric requirements are telling you so it's something to, to have a look out for and get the best out of your fabric. And another way to um, get more out of your fabric is to reduce your seam allowances and your hem allowances as well. So oftentimes there might be a big hem on something and that's taking an extra couple of inches of fabric that you might be able to either put a bit of bias binding at the bottom or just make the hem allowance a lot smaller or your seam allowances as well. Often I find five eighths of a, an inch seam allowance is quite wasteful. If I know if something's going to fit me, for example, you could cut it a size smaller and then use a smaller seam allowance 
I've done that a few times when I've been really short on fabric. Another way is just to trace around the pattern and put your own seam allowances on. So, you know, there's a, there's always ways of finding finding ways of saving fabric and just eking out what you can out of a metre. Yeah, so there's all sorts of things that you can make with a metre of fabric. You know, there's aprons, there's dog clothes, there's children's clothes. Like I said earlier, not looking at scrap busting particularly in, in this video. I've got another video for that. And I'm going to be bringing out another video looking at how we can use other scraps and remnants in the sewing room. If you look out for that later as well, that'll be part of the sustainable sewing series where, where I'm focusing on replacing plastic and things like that in the sewing room. Right, so on to discounts now. And I've got a few for you this week. Not a lot, but I've got a few pattern releases for example. One in particular I want to talk about is one by uh, Winterwear Designs. I pattern tested for the summer dress. Uh, this is a lovely pattern. It's available in three lengths. It's got a lovely back detail on it and there are two options on the back. You can do a crossover back or what she's calling a full back but it's still got that detail. Three sleeve options so you've got sleeveless, you've got just a normal short sleeve and then there's a flutter sleeve. You can do it as a top you can do it as a maxi or you can do it as a knee length. As part of the pattern test, I made a knee length one and a maxi one, both with the full back and the flutter sleeves. So it is designed for knits. It goes from sizes 00, 0 up to size 30 and it needs a knit that's going to recover. And I used my gathering technique in order to attach the skirt to the bodice as well. So it's a gathered skirt into the fitted bodice. Really, really lovely dress and that is on sale with 40% off for the, its week's release, so it's been released this week, so it's $5.95 just at the moment. So I can recommend that one, I've made it. <laughs> so I don't have an affiliate link for winter wear patterns, but I can recommend her patterns. They always fit really well and they're always well designed and the instructions are really good as well. Another pattern release this week is by By Hand London. They've released the Lizzie dress. So this is two patterns they've released in the last month and a half or whatever. Yeah, it's a really nice one is this one. A bit more formal, a bit more flouncy and that is designed for B cups from a size 2 to 24 and then a D cup from a size 16 to 38. I'll put in the actual sizes for you as I'm talking. So a really nice one this. I think it's designed for wovens is this one. Some more discounts are from Maria Denmark. All her patterns are $8 for this week. See, she's got some really, really nice designs on her website. So I will go to sharing my screen and you can have a look at those as well. Apologies, it's not all of her patterns that are on the sale, it's just these ones that we're looking at here. And that sale ends on Sunday uh, at midnight, I think. So if you need those, uh, get them as quickly as you can. Okay, so that's it for discounts this week. I'm going to keep it short this week, hopefully, so we'll lessen the editing. did have a bit of a disaster with my phone and leave it at work today, so I've had to rush back to work and pick it up. I'm on it. 15 minutes away but it's just delayed things a little bit so I hope you didn't mind me doing a little bit of screen sharing this week it's just down to time constraints with me <laughs> leaving my phone at work so back to normal next week or if you prefer it this way without seeing my, my face uh, let me know below and I will be back next week with some more videos so if this is the sort of thing that you like don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a comment below if you've got any hints and tips or if you've got any discounts that you've seen I usually pin them to the top of the comments if I've missed any I've not seen any competitions this week so I've not been able to include any of those and thank you for watching I shall speak to you later bye